beautiful Leo. How are you? Hopefully you're doing very well. Hopefully. This is your intuitive message, your intuitive reading for this moment in time. However, I do want to invite you to check out this week's astrological and intuitive forecast because there are plenty of messages that I have for you. Whether you're watching this video in real time, the time when I upload it, or the day that I upload it, or from the future, or from the past, or from wherever you're watching it, because <laughs> what is time anyways, right? Um, yeah, this message, you know, hopefully I'm setting the intention that it reaches you at the right time, but also definitely check out your astrological transits and predictions. Okay, Leo. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is what's showing up for you guys. Um, please forgive the fact that my camera is not focusing. I dropped it earlier today. How very Mercury retrograde, right? At the very tail end of Mercury retrograde is when I break my camera lens. Go figure. But interesting that we're talking about focusing and the inability to focus because Two of Wands is here and it's asking you to look at like what are what are you focusing on? What are you what are you envisioning? What 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 are you locked into? What are you seeing? I'm also feeling like you're coming out of a time. I never really noticed this, but I never really asked where this person was coming out of. Like I never asked where they were going because does it did it matter? But now for some reason during your reading, Leo, it does matter. I feel like this person was pulled away from what they were doing. Maybe rest, maybe, you know, working on a goal or whatever, but I just feel like they were pulled away from something and now they're this caught their eye. They stopped what they were doing and they went out to go explore it, Leo. And that's what I'm seeing for you. Six of Cups is here reversed. Um, I'm hearing that this is not the first time. I don't know why that's significant, but I don't know if you, if this thing that is drawing you out right now, if it's not the first time that you felt this way, it's not the first time that you were called, especially Queen of Wands here. It's not the first time that you were attracted to this or that you've wanted this. And the fact that it's not the first time is significant. The fact that you're getting called out again is significant. Three of Wands is here, my loves. You know that something is on the horizon for you or you want there to at least be something on the horizon for you. And what is it? What is it? Um, I'm also hearing that something, especially with something on the horizon, something is coming in. Something that you, you've, uh, I want to say that you've manifested it, but it also feels, I heard the word bewildered. It also feels like something unexpected that, you manifested that along with this. <laughs> wow, okay, Eight of Cups. I'm almost getting a sense that something is returning. All right, let's go ahead and see what's up. Let's see what we have here. Everyone is getting the same card of Seven of Pentacles. I'm pretty sure it showed up for everybody. So with this, uh, Leo, you know, everyone is observing right now. You're, you included. Everyone is observing. Everyone has been kind of locked in a current st situation or status quo or circumstance. It's very internal. It feels very reflective. It feels very cathartic to at least see it, to observe it, and to free yourself from the way that you have always seen it, the way that you've always um, understood it to be. And Leo, I feel like for you, look, it's here again. You are being called out. You are really getting being called out of your hiding hole or called into a hiding hole now that I'm thinking about it because we also have the Four of Swords here, which is the card of rest, restoration, replenishment. Um, and, you know, I'm, I also get re regeneration from this. I'm big time getting regeneration vibes. Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Ace of Wands, my loves. This is telling you right now to build up your energy. The time for you to be active and the time for there to be celebration and all of that is coming. It's And then we have the King of Pentacles card here, the Strength... King of, Park, King of Pentacles reversed, Strength card of Right, and the Seven of Wands reversed. So there will come a time and a place, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, when you will start to move again, where you'll start to be very active, you'll start to be very 
but right now I'm seeing that it's really important for you to build your energy and for resting and recuperation you guys I don't see this necessarily as you being pulled away from the world or isolated from the rest of the world I see it as you getting props you know what I mean you getting some attention you getting some love um, and not you sharing the limelight not you sharing what you know not sharing I mean just being really selfish and self-focused I mean there's nothing wrong with that at all um, I think what I am hearing and what I'm seeing with the two of wands is that there's this drumming um, people who should be on the horizon like again you're I, I don't know if you've been so caught in your work or so caught in observing things or your own healing or your own journey that you haven't really given the time to kind of give yourself kudos or to celebrate how far you've come but spirit is saying right now we want you to see learn and observe and celebrate how far you've come and also I don't feel like you're alone in this I think that there's a lot of people around you that want to celebrate with you and want to give you props where props is due because you've, you've earned it I mean this is such a and in that you guys maybe th maybe this is the message it's not so much that you are just on hold and, and everything is iced and still it's the fact that give yourself some credit and some recognition before the next stage the next circle the next cycle begins because it is going to begin it is going to be successful i mean leo you have queen of pentacles here the wheel of fortune and the six of wands those cards talk about celebration and and acknowledge acknowledgement and reward and success and prosperity and abundance and growth that is natural and effortless and also that you work so hard for but also you know before you do that just take some time to to feel where you're at right now and you know pick it build your energy up because when things start taking off they start taking off believe me leo i mean when things really start and something is definitely on the horizon something is definitely brewing here um and good stress and good excitement is still stressful in the body yeah you're kind of figuring out your way right now um but something about that is really exciting it's the opportunity and the ability to kind of you know uh, uh explore uncharted territory un uncharted waters you know kind of see what else is out there and find your way like that's where your heart really wants um just to, to get out there and you know it's almost oh my god I was just about to say that like I was gonna say engagement like when you it we celebrate these moments in our lives like when we meet someone and you go on your first date and then you celebrate the fact that the date went awesome or that it was awkward but then they texted you back regardless and then you're celebrating that and then from that you celebrate your first kiss and then from that you celebrate the, the first time they ask you out and ask you to be their boyfriend or your girlfriend um, and then from that you celebrate meeting the family and then from that engagement and then after engagement is the marriage Marriage, and then after the marriage is the 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 honeymoon and after that it's like always we're gonna be celebrating <laughs> we're always gonna be celebrating things my loves like and literally like you have the rider here you have the the ring you have the tree so these are things that it's just the passing of time in life the things that we commit that things that are coming through things that choose us and that we're choosing and Leo right now you're in a space right now where and you're navigating these waters you're navigating this new normal this new life and wherever it is that you are whatever it is that you're manifesting or whatever it is that has manifested before we jump into the next thing before we strike you know the next ops not obstacle but the next goal let's just kind of sit and enjoy how far you've come and celebrate you and how hard you've worked to get here I mean that's beautiful allow yourself to receive that okay and if you have not manifested that yet, Spirit is saying you are manifesting it. So to stay in a state where you are constantly um, searching for the next thing or jumping into the next goal or next whatever, it's great because you're excited and you're enthusiastic, but also Spirit wants to say, you know, we want to we want to reward you and give you some a little break before things really start picking up because things are about to get spicy big time. All right, Leo, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps me and um, my reach in our spiritual community here. Especially if this helped you, please help me by doing that. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.